guys and welcome back to another vlog miss so today i'm gonna talk about my hair transformation i know if you follow me and you've been following me you know that i had really really dark black hair and long hair but i decided to go be crazy and i wanted to try something different um, i started this process in august i believe and i wanted to be a huevo. huevo. like i wanted to be blonde for the first time in my life i've never been this light Sorry if I'm looking over there, the mirror is there, so I'm looking at myself. I don't know why I need to stop. But I'm going to tell you guys all about the process, how many sessions, how much it was, like how damaged my hair got while I style it. Because I might look like it's styled now, but this is hair from yesterday. I just brush it right now, so I'm going to kind of like retouch it. But um, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys all about my hair journey and what's next, what I'm going to do next with it because... Girls are crazy, like we want to change our hair every time we're going through stuff or I don't know, when we get bored or whatever, we want to do crazy stuff with our hair. Um, I'm glad I did this though and not cut it because in my mind I had it for a long time to cut it like a short, short hair cut. But then I thought about it really hard because I did it once and it took like five years to grow back. So I'm like, you know what? No, I had to stop myself because like I, I would have done it like I'm crazy. Like de repente, okay, I'm going to do it and then I do it and then I regret it. But yeah, let's go ahead and start. So I'm gonna style it with the straining iron. This is from Irresistible Me Diamond. They sent it to me a while back. This is not sponsored by the way. So I'm gonna start, I usually just start by straightening my, straightening my hair. And then at the ends, I kind of like twist a little bit, nothing crazy. And then you get like, oh, depending how curly you want it. I kind of get, oh wait, this one didn't work. Let me try again. So like halfway. I twist and then I go down and it creates like a wave curl whatever like this so it just depends how curly you want it you can start higher up I don't like to start up I like to just have like the ends kind of like wavy um, I don't like like quinceanera vibes like curls all the way from the top so it all started because my hair I usually dye my hair black with a hair box dye that Please don't do it guys, I'm telling you now, I got in trouble by the hairstylist because box hair dye is the worst thing you can do to your hair. Obviously if you're bleaching and everything is bad, but I guess the box hair dye have really bad chemicals and it's just super bad for your hair. I am not a hairstylist so I can't tell you exactly what it has or why, but that's just what my hairstylist told me. Um, so if you don't want to damage your hair, don't do it please. So that's, I always did that my whole life almost, like box hair dye because obviously it's the cheapest, it's easier, like you don't have to wait for an appointment, like you know, like in two hours you dye it or less. So I told her, you know what, like I want to go lighter, I don't care how many sessions it takes, like I know it's a process because it is a process, a lot of people think that you are going to go blonde in one session and that's absolutely not the case. Um, some people do it all the sessions in one day and they come out with their super fried hair which I don't think I could ever do that, but people want to be blonde like a huevo en un día and obviously it's gonna damage your hair. Anyways, so she's like, okay, well I have to, you have to see your hair and to see how it is, like how damaged it is and stuff like that. So obviously when I went there, it was black, but it had like different shades of browns and reds because of that box hair dye. It was just really, really bad. And my, my hair has always been, I haven't had like the, I've never had like super healthy hair, well back back then. But then I ruined it like at 13, 14 because I did a perm and that was the worst thing I could have done because I damaged. Ever since I did that perm, my hair never grew the same and it's been damaged. But before that, my hair was super healthy, thick, full, beautiful hair. But I ruined it. So anyways, um, so so yeah, so she, um, it, my hair has always been like freezy, like freezy, freezy. Why does it sound like I'm not saying it correctly? When I get out of the shower and it dries, it, I literally look like, like a lion. And it's just, I don't know, my hair is just crazy. Anyways, so she saw it. She's like, okay, well, we can start the process. You know, and like you have to trust the process. A lot of girls, after the one session, they want to go back to black already or their original color because it's hard. It's hard to have a hair that you don't really want. You know, like a tone that you don't really want. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to do it. Like, I have to do it. So I'm going to add pictures here my before how it used to be which don't get me wrong i love my black hair i always thought that black was my hair like that's my color like i feel so good with it like it's just me you know i've always had black hair and the fact that it had grown already so much i was so happy about it so 
but I still wanted to go with, I still wanted to do it. I still, I'm like, you know what? I want to be blonde for the first time in my life. What am I going to lose? Like, worst case scenario, I'll just go back to black and that's it, right? So anyways, so the first session I went there and this is how my hair turned out. I'm going to put a picture somewhere here. Obviously, it's not, it's not blonde. It's just kind of like took off the box hair that I had. So it kind of like helped to kind of remove it in a way. And it kind of lightened it a little bit, but obviously it's not what I wanted, you know? So I had to stay like that for I think five weeks or six weeks before my next session. Um, so I had to rock that hair. Obviously I did not like it, but I'm like, you know what? Like it's part of the process, relax. I was so ready to just say, you know what? No, let's stop the process. I want to go back to back now. But I'm like, no, no, just wait. You already did it once. Like you can do this. Like it was literally a stroke because I did not like it. So session number two comes and uh, she does it again. And the way she did it, she just did like, I think like, I think like baby highlights all over. Um, she didn't do like all bleach. I think that's just a process of to lighten your hair So the second session, I think she went over it and she did more baby highlights and this is how it looks after the second session So, you know, it looked a little bit lighter, but obviously not how I wanted it So by then I was really thinking about it because I already saw my hair breaking like I don't have healthy hair right now Like don't even like I'm not even trying to say that I have healthy hair. It's pretty damaged, but it was already damaged when I went in there, so I cannot blame it fully on the bleach. But after the second session, I started noticing, oh my god, my hair feels different. Like, like I don't know. Like I don't know if I should do the third session because I don't know how light it's gonna be after that third session. You know, like I'm like, what if I go and I still need like a fourth one, and that's just a lot of damage for my hair. So I was thinking about it. I spoke to her and, and everyone. They're like, everyone's like, you know what, like. You already started the process why would you halfway go back to black you know like if you, this is what you wanted to go through go, go through with it i'm like you know what you're right so i booked my third session again like six weeks later and this is how it turned out like this i was amazed she was amazed she's like wow like it really lightened up after that third session like i did not expect it to go this light a lot of she's saying that a lot of girls after the third session it doesn't look even this light so i was so happy I was so happy. I'm like, you know what? I think this is how I'm going to keep it on. I do. I would love to have like the platinum blonde, like like almost white. But I know it's not possible for my hair. It's too damaged already. Um, Como se dice? After I tried to like reconstruct. Como. I don't know what the word is. But yeah. So this is how it is at third session. And I honestly love it. I do love it. Don't get me wrong. I love it so much. It was so hard for me to get used to it at first. It was so hard because I've always had black hair, like I said a million times already. And I feel like this is just not me. Like, I love it, but I don't know. Like, I miss my long, beautiful black hair. Well, it wasn't beautiful because it was damaged. But when, when I would do it, it would look beautiful. So here I am. I'm enjoying it. I've been this color for... On the third session, I think she did go blonde, like like bleach like full on and then she added some toners i don't know exactly what she did but she charged me like 140 to 160 per session um which i think is pretty good because i've heard girls go and they charge them like 300 dollars and stuff like that so i was actually pretty impressed um and she's in san diego if you're interested um i can i'm gonna try to ask her instagram if you want to hit her up but basically um my hair this is how it is now um obviously it's damaged but not as bad as I thought it would be and I've been thinking about going back to black like I want to know what you guys think what you guys think in the comments I'm gonna add a picture here when I have black hair and this because I just love how I just love how long hair looks and I don't know if I can want to get I want to get an extension for these because I know I'm gonna dye black eventually like my plan was to wait for like next year to dye it back to black which next year is already in a month but I don't know guys I'm like I'm like should I just keep it longer I'm already here like just enjoy it for a little bit longer and then go black maybe by the end of the next year by like like uh, fall and winter or play around with it get like a, a like a type of right now it's the popular color right now is like um copper I think I don't know if I should try that since I'm already light I don't know what to do so please tell me in the comments what you guys think I should do get like a copper stay with this for longer Go lighter or go back to black already. A lot of people message me saying, I miss your black hair. 
trust me, I miss it too. And you telling me it's not helping me because then I feel like, oh my god, I want to go back to work. But yeah, guys, I love it both. I love them both. I do feel more like a baddie with a black ha long hair. I feel like it's me. I feel more confident. But this is it. And I'm not going to tell you that I hate it. I don't. Look at it. I think I did it right. After, after I kind of like do this, I kind of just run my fingers through them. Because I want them to do more like look more effortlessly. Not like I really try. So, let me know what you guys, what you guys think. I'm going to give you guys, tell you guys what shampoos she recommended me to use to help my hair with the like, recovering. Covering it? I don't know if I'm using the correct word. But, so... Obviously, when you go blonde, you have to use purple shampoo. Super important. Where is my shampoo? So, this is the one I'm using. It's pretty big and it's been lasting me for all these three months. Four months already that I dyed it. Um, it's this one, no yellow shampoo, not sponsored. I got it from Amazon, but I'm pretty sure you can get it like at Ulta or like beauty stores. This one. It's shampoo and conditioner. It's a vegan, which I just read right now, I didn't know. But yeah, pretty good. Uh, just make sure you don't leave it on for long because your hair will look purple. Once I left it on for too long and then I kind of rinsed it and uh, it just looked like it had purple tones. So be careful with that. I only use it, um, so I wash my hair like tw twice a week, sometimes three, sometimes one. But from one to three times a week, I do not have oily hair, so I'm okay to not wash it that often because it's... It's not good to wash it often. I don't know if you knew this, but it's not good. Your hair becomes drier, and I don't know why other reasons why, but I heard it's not good. So I use the purple shampoo like once a week, and then I use this one, which is regular shampoo. This one was $80 in Amazon. $80 for these both. It's this brand. Again, I probably could have bought it cheaper somewhere else, but I just wanted to get it like ASAP, and I didn't have time to go to the store, so I just got this. Um, so this is uh, moisturizer, moisture recovery, which I need after all the dyeing and bleach. It's pretty big also. I feel like it's going to last me a pretty good while and I like it so far. If you guys have any other like advice on uh, shampoos I should use or products, let me know to try and make my hair a little bit healthier. I don't know what I'm going to do next with it, but put me in the comments what you guys think I should do. And that's going to be it for this video. I wanted to upload something quick because I know I've been keep, I haven't been keeping up with my vlogmas. I'm sorry. And I told you guys since the beginning I might do three videos a week or as many as I can. But I'm going to try my hardest to do, do it. At least three videos a week. So thank you for being patient and understanding. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you for subscribing. I hope you are subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That's going to help me a lot. If you like my video, if you comment, that's going to... Um, a lot more people to see it uh, and get more views because I really need them. Please help me with that and turn on your post notifications. It should be like a bell somewhere here that um, gives you notifications when I upload because if you don't press that, you're not going to be notified and you're going to miss all the videos. So please do that for me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. I'm going to leave all my links in the description box below, my Instagram, my website, everything. I love you guys and please don't forget to do what's right, not what's easy and I'll see you guys in the next video.